Today we're going to review how to actually program a little bit in 1, 2, 3D circuits. Right now we're currently working on electronics and talking about computers and how computer technology it works and what, what you do in computer technology. So what we're going to do is we're going to introduce our Arduino. So if we go ahead and we type in Arduino into our search engine, we should be able to get the Arduino Uno. And this is our Arduino Uno. And you can see it's a circuit board. What it does is it's actually a fancy circuit board. In this case, it's um, very uh, user friendly and can really be used with uh, a lot of source type technology. So there's a lot of outsource data and uh, current projects that are out, outsourced and available at all times, so that's kind of a neat thing. So they're um, open source. This is open source data, so it can be used as open source data. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get select another component, and the other component that we're going to select today is the piezoelectric speaker. Now if you have a speaker and you're building this yourself, you can use just an 8 ohm speaker or something like that in equivalence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pull up that component. I'm going to pull up a piezoelectric speaker. So I went ahead, I hit components. I'm going to put in piezo. And I'm going to put in, I'm going to just use the small piezoelectric. It'll work either way. There we go. All we need is one. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this really simple. So what we're, I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook it directly into my breadboard. I'm going to hook this into nine, and then I'm going to hook this into ground. And actually, I'm going to, I don't like my wires crossed, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hook this one right here. I'm going to go directly into here, and I'm going to move this one up. Now, I could directly hook it to the speaker, but I'm going to use the breadboard in this case. So breadboard goes up, so I'm going to go into there. Then I'm going to go from here to 9. And I'm going to color this one purple because it's a signal. I usually use purple as my signal pin, and then I'm going to use black as my ground. All right, now this is a pretty simple circuit as you can see. What we need to do is we, we need to actually code it. So I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna delete all this code in here. Um, this is the, the lesson that I gave. Mary had a little lamb. This is actually from SparkFun. All right, so we're gonna copy this, the lesson from the paperwork that I've given you in class. So you should have paperwork on the code, and I'm copying and pasting the code directly. Now it's kind of a lengthy code here. Really what it talks about, this is from SparkFun, the Inventors Kit, and this is Sketch 11. So right here what we have is we have the Buzzer Inventor Kit for Electromagnetic Mechanical Component, which is a, a speaker. So here what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this code. Okay, and what it has is it has the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and it has the frequencies to each each note, and it has a basic notes. Now, so the starting out, it starts out with a song right here, and this is where the characters of the notes are. That becomes important later on. This is the length of the song, and this is the beats. It can either be quarter or half notes. These are all quarter notes because they're one, indicating that they're very fast notes. Okay, so we're going to upload. All right, let's see what we did. We need a star. Oh, there we go. Now this should upload. All right, so that's our, our 80s song for the day. And we go ahead, we have an 80s song that plays for there. And all we did is we just played the song. So I went ahead, I stopped the simulation. I can go ahead and move my code down and I can hit start. And it 
plays our song. So notice that wasn't a very long song. What we can do is we can play different songs. So what we have here, and to play a different song, we can play different notes here. So we're going to have to change the notes. So I'm going to go back to my Word document. Okay, and I'm going to go to a new song. In this case, I'm going to use basically what we came up with, the Star Wars song. My wife and I looked at it for a little bit of time and tried to figure out close approximately to what the Star Wars song was. So we have, this is kind of what we decided was the Star Wars song. Now we could change the, the, the quarter and a half notes here if we wanted to, but we're not going to do that for today. So we're going to just upload now. Okay, so it kind of sounds like the, the Re Rebellion song from Star Wars. We can play it one more time. Okay, and that's, that's how we did that. We just changed the notes here in the ca character code. C-H-A-R right here stands for a type of list or sequence in this case, and this is what we're using for our code to go ahead and character code. So what we have is we have uh, our notes that have been coded into this. Now we can get a little bit more complex. We're going to go into our Word document and then we're going to go ahead we're going to do the Mary Had a Little Lamb code. We're going to copy and paste this in here. Okay so what we're doing here is we're going to change our Mary Had a Little Lamb so I'm going to actually copy and paste just certain aspects of it. So what we have here is we have for Mary Had a Little Lamb we're going to need 26 characters and we're going to use a different note sequence than we had before. So what we have here is we have this is our this is our sequence of notes right here if we put in our notes copy and paste and it's not pasting just a second here. All right, let's paste it. Oh, we need to stop the code. We're going to go ahead and we're going to paste this in. This is something that my wife and I came up with last night. All it is is it's Mary Had a Little Lamb. So the first song that was ever recorded by Edison was Mary Had a Little Lamb. It was the first song ever recorded in history. So we have Edison. Mary had a little lamb. Okay, this forward slash means just it's a note. This is just a note to myself so I know what I'm doing. I'm going to change this instead of 18 to 26 because I want to actually increase the length of the song. And this will become apparent if we do this. So let's, let's keep it as 18 and let's go ahead and download. Let's start the code. Okay, notice it didn't complete our whole song. It only went a little ways through. So if we go ahead and we put this in as 26, we can go ahead, we should be able to hear more. Okay, so we changed it to 26. It should have gone a little bit longer, but again, what we have here is we need to increase the, the amount of numbers here to 26. Okay, so here's the beats. This is the amount of time that each each character has played. Oh, uh, let's see here. What did I do? Oh, I had two commas in there. Okay, now we heard the whole song because 
we had enough beats here and here, and then we had enough sequences for our song. So we should have equal amount of notes here as we do here. And I just kind of did it by eyeball here. If you want to do it perfectly, you're going to count the amount here and count the amount here and have the same. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we want to actually emphasize the song by the notes. So what we're going to do here, if we zoom in, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, and if we look here, our notes here, one represents a quarter note and two represents a half note. So what I did is I went through the song and I decided which ones need to be a half note and which need to be a quarter note. So I changed the sequence here of the beats a little bit more. Because otherwise it's going to play real fast and real slow at certain times. So I, I changed the sequence. So we need to go in here, we need to copy, and then we need to go in here, and we need to paste this. All right, so now you can see that on our one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh line, our, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, this E right here is going to be over a half note instead of a quarter note. So it's going to be a longer note there. Okay. And then what we can see is then our 10. So after that E, we have the D. The D here is going to be a, a, a quarter note or a half note. I apologize. And then we're going to have, after that, we're going to have a lot more half notes. So this, so we should have the E right here as a half note. The D right here as a half note, and then the G as a half note, and then seven notes up from that, this E is a half, a quarter note. So the E is a quarter note, the G is a quarter note, the D is a quarter note, and the, this E is a quarter note. It's actually... I said that wrong. So what we have here is we have number seven. This E is a half note. The D is a half note. The G is a half note. And then this E right here is a half note. And that's what we designated through here. We can see that sequence, this pattern, this pattern is seven here. And this pattern is seven, is the notes are seven. So the seventh note is a half note. The 10th note is a half note. The 11, 12th, 13th note is a half note. The, like the 20th note is a half note as well. So that's what we've went ahead and designated. So let's upload and run this. Okay, that sounds a little bit more like our song. So let's listen to it one more time. So that's our Edison song here. And so what we've done is we've, we've played three different songs. We've played the original song that came with the Spark Notes um, design here that we had from the code. And what we all we did is we just used that to start out with. And then we went ahead and we changed it to a Star Wars type song by changing the notes here. And then we also changed our beats right here to either half notes or quarter notes to be able to represent the sound. The last thing that we did also do is we changed the song length. The this 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 constant right here, we changed that song length so that the characters that we could put in our, to our song are is a longer sequence. So we could actually have a longer sequence and have a longer song.